Well, that was a grand waste of time. Well, now, I told you I wasn't interested. You know, it's so hard getting used to the new crew. Well, even the old crew used to, used to say what he meant and know is what I said. Believe it or not, you know, I, I don't need you to get on my program about this. I'm on my own back, okay? I'm sorry, you're right. You're I hope I'm interrupting something. Saved by the master of time and space. <laughs> I'm sorry. Truth? Uh, no. Stay away from me, mate. I know that our arrangement has hit a few rough spots, but don't you think it's kind of crass to be interviewing new candidates already? But sometimes you are so disgusting. That's when you like me most. You're going to have to buy your own lunch. I've already eaten. And you have to get back to the office. Now you're on the right track. Julia, as far as I know, no child was ever conceived through osmosis. Did you read that someplace? No, I learned it from my father when I was 12. So as long as we have the go-ahead from the doctor, what do you say we move this project from research to reality? Um, you can start chilling it now, Irene. Whatever you say, boss. You know, when you asked me to work late, I expected dictation. <laughs> you served above and beyond the call. Well, you know, when Mr. Timmons was DA, we never had these special night meetings. Somehow I'm not surprised. All right. Anything else you need? No, I think I can handle everything from here. Okay. Irene, remind us to take the morning off tomorrow. Well, thank you. Have a nice meeting. Good evening. Yes, I know what the hour is. I've been telling time for years, Julia. Because I need to see you in my office right away. I, uh, I've been looking over your notes for the um, Doyle case. I've never seen anything more slipshod. Well, if you don't come, then you can hear what I have to say at the press conference I'm going to hold tomorrow morning. Yeah, I thought so. Good. I'll see you shortly then. Me with a press conference. I gave you every one of those notes by myself. They're brilliant. Right on time and as irate as expected. Happy belated New Year, Julia. Still want to roast me? I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's the first. When did you plan all this? After our little visit this morning, it occurred to me that New Year's can be whenever we want to make it. I mean, the Chinese have theirs. Even Einstein agreed with me that time is relative. Einstein agrees with you. I hope our child doesn't inherit your ego. Speaking of our offspring, since we have an event to look forward to in 1987, I thought a little celebration was in order. What would New Year's be without music? What was I thinking when I said you? Chalk it up to a flash of genius. May I have this fertility dance, Miss Wainwright? I promise you I'm not going to rest until you're properly pregnant. <laughs> if that's all you wanted, you could have just come to my place. <laughs> and miss the look on your face when you walk through the door? Not on your life. This is our night, Julia. Something about it seems special. I think it's the expensive champagne. Did you know that if our son is conceived in this office, that by the time he's 21, he will become district attorney? That's in the city charter. And what if she wants to follow in her brilliant mother's footsteps and go into private practice? Fortunately, everything that I ordered will keep. Oh, I, I don't 
think I'm very hungry. Well, business first, then. being watched. Well, he is the father of our country. He'll understand. Is he say so? I definitely say so. <laughs> My grandfather looked just like George Washington. I'm sorry, George, but you're killing the mood. I don't like it. What are you grinning at? <laughs> I'm just wondering what George would say about all this. He's being kind of tight-lipped about everything, isn't he? I think he would be pleased. Mm. I think he would be envious. I mean, he may be the father of our country, but he and Martha didn't fare too well in the offspring department. I think we'll do better. Not even a question in my mind. Our babies. 